Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGA GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. A long time. And there's a doctor's in the house. So look, check this out, man. I want to talk about Alexander Usyk again, man. You know, he has finally uh, uh, solidified himself as a number one pound for pound uh, boxer out there, man. You know what I'm saying? I definitely agree with this list. Um, you know, uh, I'm mean, with that placement, you know. And, um, you know, Ring Magazine has, has recently... Uh, drop their list, their updated list. They have Alexander Usyk number one. Uh, now you're anyway number two, and Terence Crawford number three. Um, I believe they have number four is Canelo, with five being better be you know. And um, I think this list is great. You know, people are gonna nitpick. Shut up, bitch! Oh my God. Of course, you know you can always nitpick. You know, when it comes to ten, you know you uh, have Junto Nakatani rounding it out at number ten. Um, you know, you could always say, oh, man, well, we, you know, maybe you could squeeze David Benavidez in there. You know what I'm saying? You could squeeze Shakur in there or something like that. Or maybe even switch Better Be It for Bivol, their placements. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they, uh, Better Be It being five and Bivol being number six. But what I think is the most important is that not only did they get the top three right, in my opinion, they got the top five right. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think this is a great list. Uh, now, now, some people have Canelo a little higher you know maybe you have him number three but i said like i said once once again i think that's nitpicking or maybe you have bivol over better be ev i said a better be over bivol but i think what i think is what i think is most important is that you have the personnel right you know the order especially when it comes to the top three um when you have Usyk, uh crawford and anyway or or or, or anyway number two and crawford number three or you, or you switch it up and have crawford number two and anyway number three or crawford number one as long as you have the personnel right you know a lot of times when you break it down any further than that you know um it, it comes down to preference you know like who do you like more sometimes sometimes it's something as close as small and minuscule as that but i think that this is right i, I personally have Usyk as number one and those of you people that don't have Usyk as number one um you know like i said i think it's debatable don't get me wrong because they're all great but you know and, and, and to further emphasize their greatness they both have undisputed at two different weight divisions you know what i'm saying with uh, Usyk being undisputed at cruiserweight and heavyweight and, and crawford being undisputed at uh, uh um junior lightweight i mean sorry junior welterweight or super lightweight and uh and and welterweight you know 140 147 and then and then um anyway at bantam and super bantam weight uh unified uh, uh undisputed so i think that i think that's good you can't you know undisputed two different weight divisions how can you argue, argue that for either one of them but i think that those you are, are kind of um in denial a bit when you don't think that the heavyweight's a little more 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 more, more shined upon more more smiled upon because it, it is what it is in boxing man when the heavyweight division is doing well Boxing in general is doing well, man. You know, the, they like we the general public likes the big weight classes. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. I don't mean that the small weight classes are any are of little consequence. It just means that, hey, man, they, 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 the bigger they are, the harder they fall. They, they like the big giants fighting, like big kaiju's. You know what I'm saying? King Kong versus Godzilla. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so I think Usyk uh, uh, does have a little more weight, being that being that being that heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? The two highest divisions, cruiserweight and heavyweight. So, um, yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Now, what I'm not cool with is what I'm seeing. Um, the IBF is, is talking about their motioning to, to strip Usyk within a week or two um, of, of his IBF title. And like I said, I, the reason why I don't really care for it is because I would like the rematch with him and Tyson Fury, the potential rematch, because a lot of people are saying this in question, but I think, I think it'll happen as long as Tyson Fury is uh, 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 willing to do so. I know, I, I feel like Usyk is most certainly willing to do so. As long as the rematch happens, I think it should be for Undisputed again. Um, but more importantly, you know, if they do strip him, I want y'all to think about your favorite fighter that you don't like because they don't fight their mandatory. Look at the sanctioned bodies, how fast they're, they're willing and ready to strip Alexander Usyk for night because, and their excuse is that, because Philip Hergovich has been a mandatory for so long, which is true. I, I think Hergovich deserves by this time to have a title shot if he beats Dubois, but the fact still remains that these sanctioned bodies can strip whoever they want whenever they want they enforce the mandatories you know what i'm saying they're, they're stripping a guy who just they're talking about stripping a guy a day or two after he just went undisputed so you know what I'm saying? we gotta keep this stuff in mind you know and and, and blame the right people the right <laughs> you know what I'm saying? direct our anger correctly um so uh and our frustration you know what i'm saying so um yes while boxers could uh, especially face a boxer you can do whatever you want but at the same time it's, it's not the boxer's position to enforce the rules they're not the authority on it the authority is a sanction of body so they, and they and they strip people all the time you know who they want to strip so um yeah but i do i do think they're, they're, they're saying that um they'll strip alexander Usyk of the ibf and then they'll make hergovich versus dubois 
fight for the vacant. You know, their fight on the uh, Queensberry five of Queensberry versus Matchroom five v five. That that match could potentially turn into a title match for the IBF title. Um, that that Usyk will be stripped of. Um, so uh, I I think that they should slow down, in my opinion. But hey, it is what it is. I'm not mad at it because I think Hergovich at this point he deserves a title a title shot. And Dubois, uh, 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 he he came off a nice win off of Miller last time we saw him. So I'm not mad at that at all. But yeah, I I just, I just think that most importantly, the Ring Magazine, whether you want to nitpick or not, I think, and whether you agree with every little tiny thing, I think they. Pretty much got this uh, pound for pound list right, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not mad at this at all, man. U Usyk, heavyweight, undisputed, number one. You know, I personally would have a. Uh, uh uh, they have in the way number two, which I'm cool with that, and then Crawford number three. You, like I said, you could argue that Crawford could be number one or number two, and in a way be, be number one or number two, or Usyk be number two or number three. You could make arguments all day, but I think most importantly, the most important part is that they got the personnel right. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they have somebody random in there that's top three that we can't imagine why they would have that. So good job to Ring Magazine. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. That's all I got to say today, man. You know, it's a beautiful day, and enjoy it. You know what I'm talking about? Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. My voice is still gone, y'all. I'm still trying to recover from this wonderful weekend of boxing. <laughs> from the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.